morning and welcome to the special telecast of the retail jeweler for IIJ Signature 2024. And we have with us a young dynamic jeweler, Ayush Purana from Purana Jewelry House Amritsar. You know, he has joined the business in the last five years and has really taken a lot of good initiatives in taking the brand and enhancing the brand further in the northern region. So welcome Ayush to this telecast. Thank you so much, Samitri, for having me over. Thank Great, you. Ayush. It's a, a privilege. Great. So Ayush, you know, as you know, the IIJ's 2024 uh, signature show is going to set the agenda for the entire year. What are your expectations from the show, especially when the show has doubled in size and now Geo has been added to it? Samitji, I personally feel that the timing of the show is very right, you know, because it's at the end of the uh, festive season. And uh, 2023 has been a remarkable year for all of us in terms of sales. Uh, the rise in the gold price, for instance, has reinstated uh, people's faith in the yellow metal. And even Diamond and Polki has be, have been great as a category in terms of sales. And uh, we've witnessed a significant festive season. So even better than the last three years, you know. So I'm sure everybody is looking forward to uh, restocking their inventory for the season ahead at the IHS Signature. In terms of my expectations, I am expecting to diversify my product portfolio uh, and seek new vendors. You know, um, since there are going to be so many exhibitors on the list, I'm very excited. I'm super thrilled to see so many exhibitors. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeking greater innovations in terms of design and wearability. I'm looking forward to a greater variety. And I'm looking forward to the networking experience because IJ Signature is, uh, you know, the one show that nobody likes to miss. Earlier, uh, the August uh, edition of the IJS used to be, you know, the highlight, the main highlight of the uh, year for all the jewelry uh, industry people. Uh, but now I think over the years, IJS Signature has gained equal importance and uh, is at par with some of the best jewelry conventions in the world. So I'm really looking forward to it. Excellent, excellent. Great. And, uh, you know, as you know, Ayush, for the first time in the history of IIJ Signature, there is a new pavilion which has been set called the Select Club, which is going to be a, a pavilion of 59 leading uh, manufacturers of Kutur jewelry, which is going to be at the Geo World Trade Center. So what is your view on this segment of jewelry and this pavilion which has been put uh, together by GJBC? Uh, so... Couture as a category has over the years uh, really picked up, it's really grown over the years and uh, it's very important as a segment for us as a brand because I think that's one category that helps us uh, distinguish ourselves from the others in the industry. And uh, clients are now very design centric. I mean, they're looking for something new, something different every time they walk into the store. And thanks to the social media, we're not, we're avoiding repeating our designs in this category. So, you know, because every, if someone walks into the store, they, into the store, they want something exclusive. They want exclusivity. They want uh, something that they've not already seen someone wear it. And uh, so we need to keep replenishing our designs regularly in this category. And that's exactly what, I'm, what am I, I'm expecting from this show this year uh, with the select club coming in. And I'm very glad that this is happening because, uh, you know, earlier it was very difficult for us to, uh, keep going from hall to hall uh, to select uh, for diff to go uh, to different vendors. And now that all the vendors are going to be at the same place at the same time, I think it'll be very easy for us to segregate our uh, teams for the shopping experience. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, product expectations, I am expecting uh, more uh, multiple wearability uh, innovations. This year, we've seen that, uh, you know, stuff like bracelet cum chokers, uh, rings that could be converted into uh, pendants or uh, earrings have done phenomenally well for us. Like clients have loved how, uh, you know, they've got multiple looks in uh, just one price, you know. So I'm looking forward to fresher ideas in that aspect as well. Excellent. And is there any trends, you know, which you are seeing new, which you... Uh, over the year in 2023, you know, which has developed and which you feel that in 2024, manufacturers should really focus in terms of uh, uh, stones or metal or, you know, whatever other make or finish. Yeah, 
I feel like Colored Stones as a segment has really picked up earlier. It wasn't uh, the same case uh, in the North as much as it has done in 2023. And I feel like it has a very strong potential in the coming year. Uh, you know, the plays of emeralds, rubies and beautiful combinations that we're seeing with Tanzanites. Uh, they're doing phenomenally well. Uh, to my surprise, personally, but they're doing really well in the North. Especially when uh, you know we talk about we talk about uh, diamond and open setting uncut jewelry, so uh, I'm really hoping to seeing some new creativity with those colored stones uh, uh, coming up for the show this year. Great, and finally, uh, Ayush, coming to the year, you know, 2024 is a big uh, national election year, not only in our country, across 70 countries actually next year. It's a big year for the world, but especially for India, you know, it's a year where we are uh, moving from being a 4 trillion, fifth largest economy in the world to being the third largest by, say, another five or six years time. So what do you feel, you know, how where does the jewelry industry stand today and how Good will 2024 be? Well, uh, I've always been very bullish uh, on our Indian economy. Um, like we like we can see the situation right now. We've doing we've been doing really well if you compare ourselves with the rest of the world. Uh, Mr. Narendra Modi has been taking really good initiatives in that aspect and making sure that we are growing at a steady pace. Uh, I feel like uh, when the Indian economy. Uh, keeps on growing, it has a huge potential for our jewelry sector as well. Uh, in that sense, we're also very, uh, you know, uh, proud to come up with another store in Ludhiana. And we want to, you know, cater to a different market as well. Because uh, jewelry is something like that everybody has been appreciating for a very long time. And now you can see there are so many extravagant weddings that are happening, right? COVID is no longer in the picture. So, uh, people are going all out in terms of uh, flamboyancy and, you know, they want to show all the glamour, which works really well for our industry. So I'm very bullish for the upcoming year and I'm sure that our jewellery sector is going to do way better uh, in the next year than this year. Great. Thank you very much uh, for your time, uh, Ayush. And we look forward to welcoming you at IIJ Signature on uh, 4th of January. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much, Samaji. It's been a pleasure. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you.